And let's first get you all the updates on the Nandigram Battle Royale. Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has been camping in the constituency since yesterday. Today, Shuvendu Adhikari is also there. So there's going to be a direct face-off in Nandigram today. Now, Didi will be filing her nomination papers from the constituency. That's at about 2.30 p.m. Now, Mamta will contest the Nandigram seat for the first time after her 2011 campaign that brought her to power in the state centered around the Nandigram land acquisition agitation. While Mamta will file her papers, her rival, Shuvendu Adhikari, will inaugurate his election office in Nandigram at 11 a.m. He will walk from his old office space towards the new office, inaugurating it. This is around the time that Mamta, interestingly, will be tempted Temple hopping in Nandigram ahead of the nomination. Did the boy in April Nandigram make a lot of money? Boy, the kind of boy who can. Taka dil hai vote de den. Chom kal hai vote de den. Thik bol chen to. Bahul hai. Let's take this across to Indrajit Kundu, who's joining us live from Nandigram with the latest updates from the ground. Uh, Indrajit, direct contest today that we're going to be seeing in Nandigram for the first time between Shuvendu Adhikari and Mamta Banerjee. Both leaders, no doubt, will pull all stops because this is going to be a show of strength by the TMC and the BJP. Well, absolutely. No doubt about that. This is going to be a battle royale as far as Nandigram is concerned. The most prestigious and high profile, uh, you know, contest in this entire election. And therefore, uh, both the candidates are on the ground. Mamta Banerjee, of course, kick-starting her campaign yesterday. Uh, she held a, 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 a Trinamool workers meet yesterday and then went to a slew of temples. She even served tea at, uh, at uh, uh, a tea stall in Nandigram Bazaar. So Mamta Banerjee has been camping in Nandigram. She stayed back in Nandigram last night. Today she will be leading a Padhyatra, following which she will finally uh, file her nomination papers. So uh, it, it is uh, uh, important, it assumes significance that the Chief Minister herself is camping here in Nandigram. In fact, there is a house that has been hunted for her where she's putting up. Uh, at the same time, Shubhendra Adhikari would be uh, inaugurating his uh, campaign office at Nandigram Bazaar at about 11 a.m. this morning. So it's going to be a very, very interesting day as far as Nandigram seat is concerned. Absolutely. And we'll be tracking the latest updates. Indraji, thank you very much for joining us with all those details. Imagine, but this time... And we put together several scenarios of what perhaps could happen in the battle for Bengal and also in the context of Nandigram. So here are those scenarios. Number one, if both Mamta and TMC win, Mamta wins in Nandigram, the TMC goes on to sweep Bengal. It's a huge vindication of TMC Supremo, of Mamta Banerjee's stand. And again, it gives her the prominence that she comes back for a third term. Mamta's uh, stature rises really at a national level. It's no longer about just Bengal. It's uh, pushed far beyond that to a national level politician as well. The second scenario is if Mamta wins the Nandigram seat, the high prestige seat, but TMC loses Bengal to the BJP. In that case, Didi will have to make do with the leader of opposition post. She'll have to relinquish the CM throne. Scenario three, if the TMC wins, but Mamta loses. So the TMC secures Bengal, but Mamta loses in Nandigram. It's basically going to be bad photo ops, bad optics for her, a personal blow for Mamta Banerjee. TMC may still elect Elect Mamta Banerjee as the Chief Minister. She won't, of course, uh, be able to, considering she lost Nandigram, which means she'll have to contest elections again in a matter of six months so she can become the Chief Minister. That's if she loses Nandigram. Scenario four is if both Mamta lose and the TMC loses. This will be a massive boost for the BJP and also importantly for Shuvendu Adhikari as a leader in the BJP. He may emerge as a giant killer, as someone who slayed Mamta Banerjee in Nandigram constituency and thereby, because of the fact that he achieved that feat, could play a big, big role in the BJP government. And this is in the scenario that Mamta loses Nandigram, the TMC loses Bengal as well. So this is how things will play out and really 
why it's so important for Mamta Banerjee to win this prestige seat of Nandigram. Remember that we've been talking about how this seat of Nandigram is a bastion, a stronghold for Shubhendu Hadikari. It's equally important for Mamta Banerjee. She rose to political prominence many years back in the 2000s when she held her land acquisition movement against the then left government in the Nandigram seat. So let's recap what happened back then, how Mamta became so important in Bengal post that movement in Nandigram. A decade since those heady days when Nandigram shot to prominence, this sleepy hamlet, 130 kilometers from Kolkata, is once again back in the news. But this time, the lines of contentions may not be as well defined as before. Abitak development nahi hua job, amara puribartan hua tha, puribartan ka time me, hamra bola tha nokri mil jayega. Nokri mil jayega, idhar me industry bhi hoga, tourism silpo bhi hoga, bahut admi kam karega, transport bhi chalega, koi bhi nahi hua. Jo amara idhar rasta bana diya, wo pehle amara lal mitti ka rasta tha. तो ये लोग सरकार में आने के बाद अभी ढालाई हो गया कुछ कंक्रीट का बन गया और पीच रोड हो गया लेकिन रोड के अलावा मैं सुनना चाहती हूँ और क्या क्या बना है यहाँ पे स्कूल है स्कूल पहले भी था अभी भी है तो वो दसवीं क्लास तक था अभी एच तक हुआ है थोड़ा पानी पानी का प्रॉब्लम बहुत ज्यादा है गरीबी कितनी मिट्टी है दस साल में ज्यादा नहीं मिट्टी है क्यूँकी इधर वो एक फसल चास होता है क्योंकि पानी नहीं मिलने से दो तीन फसल या चास नहीं होता है नौकरियां नौकरियां कितनी मिलती या इधर ज्यादातर लोग बाहर में रहते हैं क्योंकि क्यों गुजरात में या केरल में नहीं नौकरियां जीरो 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 पूर्णिमा's husband was one of the villagers who died during the movement of 2007 that killed 13 others on the same day. सरकारी कर्मसंस्था देवे बोले दीदी घोषणा करी चिलो जे आमी वही नोंदीगा मेरे ऊपर थे के आज मुख्यमंत्री हुए थी तात जन वही बैलिस जन एक एक कर्मसंस्था देवे बोले कोता बोले किंतु ज़ादर के कर्मसंस्था दिए चे एक आईसी देशे राना चार थे के पांच हज़ार टका बेतोन वही बेतोन ले एक टा संस्था � बर्तमान पहलम थे के 2007 थे के दादा हमारे टुकड़ा खोले पासे आ ची अरे अखंड बोलने तो आ ची शो बंद तो दा हैं दादा जोखन बीजेपी ते चोले जाए जोखन दीदी जोखन जानते पालो दादा बीजेपी ते चोले ना वो अखंड पोजन तो दीदी हमारे कुनो जमो खरज लाए नहीं शोहित पूरी बार की कोचे क्या मोना ची दीदी अखंड and Asha Bibi lost their 15-year-old son to police firing in 2007. They questioned the political integrity of those who had led them then. Subhind Babu Hok, Aro Je Kichu Sushwetani Yon Neta Andalon Kati Maddi, Tara Je Andalon Ta Kuchilo Mahamati Manushe Jokhar Jan. Akon, Bortoman Subhind Babu Kota Gethi. Se Adar Sa Tito Hai, Amadhe Dolar Sange Bhemani Kore, Onno Dolar Se Candidate Hoi Chhe. तখন তার স্লোগান ছিল কি আজকে স্লোগানটা তার কি আজকে স্লোগান তখন ডলার ভিতরে ঠাকুর দেব দাকিং বা একে নিয়ে সে সাউথিং এ পরিণত করেছে যেটা জয় শিরাম জয় শিরাম তার ধর্মীয় একটা ই হতে পারে কিন্তু রাজনীতিতে ধর্ম টেনে নিয়ে সে জয় শিরাম সকলকে বলাতে হবে তার জন্য আমরা সুবেন্দু অধিকারী সাথী शुभेंदु अधिकारी तो जीत चाहिए खाने या तो दिन दिए ना शुभेंदु अधिकारी यार कोन खेल रख भी नहीं है शुभेंदु अधिकारी के अमर हो रहा हो यार ये करी नहीं। The issue of land had always been a motive in the politics of West Bengal. Land was the issue around which the left front, headed by the CPM, mobilised rural voters and won seven consecutive elections. The 2007 land agitation in Nandigram was the breakthrough that Mamta Banerjee and her party, the Trinamool Congress, had been waiting for to deliver a final blow to dislodge the left in West Bengal. And now the BJP is using Nandigram and turncoat TMC leader from there, Suvendu Adhikari, to try and weaken the legacy 
that Mamta is trying to rekindle. Here's a look at the people's mandate back in 2016 in the Nandigram constituency. It was a sizable win for the Trinamool Congress. 67% of the votes going to Shuvendu Adhikari. Now in second place, the runner-up was interestingly the CPI with 27% of votes. Abdul Kabir Sheikh came in second place. And last was the BJP. In third place, Bijan Kumar Das just about got 5% of the vote. So it's clear that the TMC emerged victor in 2016 in Nandigram. The question is, were the votes for Shuvendu Adhikari or were the votes for the party, for TMC? As part of her campaign last evening, look at what Mamta Banerjee was up to. She took to the streets of Nandigram. She visited a tea stall, interacting with the locals. Mamta Banerjee, interestingly, made tea, served it to the people. She later took a sip of tea herself at the stall. As always, Didi is serving it piping hot. In the blazing battleground of Nandigram, who doesn't have time for some chai? But when has chai, or the act of serving it, even been bereft of political significance? Certainly not since 2014, when the country's chaiwala-in-chief made India's favourite beverage a steaming political potion. And that's why channeling her own inner chaiwala is more than just a gimmick. For one thing, she appears to be using it to emphasize her ground connect. Her humble roots and the easy way in which she blends with the masses. As the cameras roll, Mamta knows fully well she's sending a message in the language of her arch rival. Knowing fully well that the metaphor of chai is a tricky topic, especially since it was a slur on chai that provided a monster boost to Modi's credentials in the 2014 campaign. Whether Mamta gets to enjoy the fruits of her labour is an open question at this stage. But she isn't the only one churning the chai this election season. There was Rahul Gandhi tipping a tumbler of tea in Tamil Nadu. And Priyanka Gandhi who went beyond the cup and actually plucked some tea. But who gets to drink the sweetest tea will only be known on May 2nd. With Polami Saha in Nandigram, Bureau Report, India Today. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.